Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a full portrait retouch in under one minute using Evoto AI, which is an amazing AI image editing software that is a complete game changer, especially when it comes to portraits. So let's jump on in. So I've got this photo of Ali Sutton from a recent workshop loaded into an Evoto catalog. And on the left side here, you've got a ton of presets that you can literally click and be done, you can create your own. So if you're a headshot photographer like I am, you can create a headshot preset that is gonna be getting you about 99% of the way there every time in one button. But I wanna show you how quickly you can do this literally from scratch just by moving a couple sliders up and down. So I'm only gonna talk about the skin retouching aspect of this. This program can do a lot more, but I wanna just focus on like the time saving aspect so I don't have to do this in Photoshop anymore. So skin retouching, we've got this magic face skin dodge and burn. Let's bring that up to about 75, 80%. Skin smoothing, I don't wanna to do too much of this because it can tend to look a little fake. Uh, body skin smoothing, that's just smoothing the skin that's not on the face. And skin tone unifying, that is literally just matching the skin tone from the face to the rest of the body. Now, let's zoom in here and do a kind of before and after. This is before, this is after. It's already looking really good and that would have taken me 20 minutes in Photoshop. So let's go ahead up to skin defects removal. This is basically gonna be your blemish removal. Let's slide that one all the way up. If you have any moles or permanent features you don't want it to get rid of, you can mask that out just by clicking this uh, button up here and, and erasing the mask. Um, body blemish removal, that's gonna be blemishes on the body, anything like that. Shouldn't have a ton of oily skin, so it's not really a big deal. Let's just kind of slide these, you know, wrinkled sliders up a little bit. I wanna keep it pretty natural. I don't wanna go too far with it, um, but just like that, just a few sliders and we've got a really good looking retouch already. And again, this would have taken me 15, 20, 25 minutes in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and see what else we can do with this though. So let's go ahead and we can do um, eyes, which is gonna be basically the brightness of the eyes. Teeth, we can whiten the teeth, we can brighten the teeth, we can desaturate the teeth, and we can use makeup as well. So the highlight on this, this is kind of cool. So basically, if we zoom in to underneath her eyes, this is gonna basically kind of enhance the, the lights. This is kind of another dodge and burn here, and this will add some uh, of that. Makeup brightness is basically eyeshadow, how bright or dark that is, and lip color, you can change that as well. So right off the bat, I've just been talking with you and doing some sliders. We've got a pretty good looking retouch right here that was very simple and pretty foolproof. So let's say we're happy with that. All I wanna do is I wanna transfer this to this other photo that's not edited yet. So let's go back to this one, go edit, copy, says effects copied. Let's go to this one, you guessed it, edit paste. And now we've got this one retouched just at literally the click of a button. And you can export this in TIFF or JPEG if you wanna do any further retouch, any you know flyaway removal in Photoshop or in Capture One or any program that is not this. But you can do a ton of stuff with this program as well changing the background, you can change the crop, you can change the, uh, you know, literally anything you can change in any other editing program. So honestly, this is a complete game changer. It's saving me a ton of time. I'm using it for all of my sessions now. Uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out and ask. I'd be happy to help and I'll see you next time. <music>